Today, we will discuss something important that often needs clarification. Database, Data Warehouse and Data Lake. By the end of this video, you will not only grasp their fundamental concepts, but also understand their differences, know when to use what, and become familiar with the supporting technologies. Let's dive right in. What are databases, data warehouses, and data lakes? What do they have in common? These are diverse storage systems designed to store, manage, organize, and analyze data efficiently. How are they different? Imagine you have an online store and each product you sell has its entry in a storage area called a database. This database is like a detailed and organized product catalog. It stores specific details for each item like its name, price, quantity in stock and category. When a customer wants to buy something, the database quickly retrieves this structured information, making the checkout process smooth and efficient. The database acts like the store's well-organized inventory system in this case. Hearing the database concept, are you connecting the dots to our other video which explains operational data? You are right. Databases are the storage systems that handle the day-to-day -day operational data. If you still need to watch it, I highly recommend doing so. Now, let's see how data warehouse is different. Let's say your online store has been running for a few years. By now, you have gathered a lot of data about sales, customer preferences, and market trends. This is where a data warehouse comes in. Think of it as a dedicated hub which not only keeps information about each product, but also tracks changes in sales and customer preferences over time. With a data warehouse, you can analyze historical data, identify patterns, and make informed pricing strategies and inventory management decisions. This is how data warehouses help with analyzing things. Moving to data lake, as your online store grows, you get data from different places. They can be customer reviews, social media, and maybe even other stores you work with. This diverse and raw data doesn't fit nearly into the structured format of a database. That's where Data Lake comes into picture. It's like having a storage space that stores all kinds of information in its raw and structured form. It's your playground for innovation that allows you to explore this diverse data, uncover insights, and discover new opportunities for your online store business. All in all, databases handle the operational side, data warehouses contribute to the analytical part, while data lakes serve as vast repositories for both operational and analytical needs. Now that we know what is what, let's understand when to use what. A database is your go-to solution when you need quick and precise information for day-to-day -day operations. If you are curious about the bigger picture, how sales have evolved, how customer preferences and market trends have changed over the years, that's where a data warehouse steps in. When you are ready to innovate with diverse data and want computers to analyze things for you, especially using artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms, the data lake is your go-to. When I mention database, data warehouse and data lake, some might think they are specific technologies. To clarify, these are not technologies, but conceptual approaches to organizing and managing data. One can implement these concepts using a variety of technologies. For example, organizations use technologies like MySQL, PostgreSQL, Microsoft SQL Server, and Oracle to implement databases. And to implement data warehouses, 
the technologies such as amazon redshift google bigquery snowflake or traditional rdbms with additional optimizations for analytics can be used technologies such as amazon s3 or azure data lake storage are commonly used to implement data lakes while the concepts remain consistent the technologies used for implementation can vary based on factors like performance scalability cost and the nature of the data being managed that wraps up today's discussion on the database data warehouse and data lake if you found this video helpful subscribe and drop your questions in the comments thanks for joining and i'll see you in the next one